Outlook brings to you excerpts from its latest issue titled Outrageous, Outlandish, Ostentatious that looks at the widening chasm in Indian weddings. While Dalit grooms are attacked for riding a horse to the bride's house, then there are top Bollywood stars dancing to the tune of big business. Cupid Inc. by Vinita Mokil from Outlook. Most professional matchmakers operate like big businesses today. Super organized, digitally savvy, keen to extend their reach beyond Indian shores. When 28-year-old Purnima returned to Delhi after a short stint of working as an interior designer in Mauritius, marriage was the last thing on her mind. She wanted to set up her own business. Singledom suited her fine. My brother went behind my back and placed a matrimonial ad in a newspaper for me. She loves. We got a flood of responses, mostly from men working in the Indian Army. They would often send their responses by post. This was in the 1980s when newspaper ads and relatives were playing matchmakers to a large extent. Of course, professional matchmakers were around at the time too, but they hadn't upped their game to today's level. According to Saurabh Goswami, Managing Director of Ahmedabad-based Ultra Rich Match, there are about 5,000 registered matrimonial agencies in India currently. Online matrimony sites such as Shadi.com, Bharat Matrimony, Jeevan Sati, Vivah.com, Royal Matrimony, The Second Shadi, etc. add to the count. Most professional matchmakers and agencies operate like big businesses today. They're super organized, digitally savvy, keen to extend their reach beyond Indian shores. We are a team of 28 people based around the world, working from India, the US, London and Dubai, says Anuradha Gupta, founder and CEO, Vows for Eternity. Ours is a curated, confidential global platform which caters to members ranging from 23 to 65 years of age. We are like an executive search firm you retain to outsource the best fit for life. Seema Taparia, aka Seema Auntie, star of Netflix's Indian Matchmaking, took up matchmaking as a full-time profession in 2005. She was already a familiar name in Mumbai circles when she met the series executive producer in the city. Seema Auntie has a roster of clients in India, Canada, the US, the UK, Singapore and Australia. Her services are on offer in any country where there's a sizable Indian population. Like them or loathe them, matchmakers have been a part of societies across the world since ancient times. Matchmakers make an appearance in epics such as the Ramayan and the Mahabharat. Jewish communities in Europe and Russia relied on a Shad Khan, professional matchmaker. In ancient Greece, a Promnestria carried proposals to families and negotiated marriages. The Japanese approached Omei to find suitable matches. In India, a traditional arranged marriage maker is called a Nayan. The matchmaker, often a family friend or a relative, played a neutral go-between when families were trying to fix an alliance. They also acted as scouts, seeking possible matches after considering family background, economic position and family reputation. For this and more, read the latest issue of Outlook.